Based on the general knowledge that we have been taught all of our lives, we are aware that Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. But do you know the name of the exact place which has literally the lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth? Let's find out. Dome Fuji Dome Fuji has an altitude of 3,810 meters or 12,500 feet above sea level. Its temperature is actually very recent development, which broke the previous record for the coldest temperature when it plunged to negative 93.2 degrees Celsius or negative 135.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That is right, you did not hear that number wrong. I cannot even begin to imagine how cold that must be. My hands have already turned cold just thinking about it. This discovery was made by analyzing global surface temperature maps using data from remote sensing satellites. After studying 32 years worth of data, they found the temperatures had plunged to record lows on dozens of occasions on a high ridge between Dome Argus and Dome Fuji on the East Antarctic Plateau. Before this, the lowest detected temperature was at the Russian Vostok Research Station in East Antarctica, where it had reached a low of negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. Now, despite how cold it is in these areas, it certainly does not stop humans from doing silly stunts. Ted Scambos, an ice scientist, reported that scientists routinely make 100 degree below zero Fahrenheit dashes outside in the South Pole as a stunt, so people can actually survive that temperature for about three minutes. That's not a lot of time though, so do not repeat this at home. You wouldn't want to be caught naked in negative 73 degrees Celsius for more than three minutes. For more extreme temperatures though, especially in temperatures as low as reported record researchers needed to breathe through a snorkel that brings air into the coat through a sleeve and warms it up so you don't inhale the cold air by accident. In the case of the specific low record though, scientists believe it can be a random reading as well because this place has not been measured much before and it could have been colder or hotter in the past. Scambos claims that this new record will not be added into the Guinness Book of World Records because the temperatures were measured by remote sensing from a satellite and not by ground-based thermometers unlike the 1983 record. At Dome Fuji, the climate is like that of a cold desert with very dry conditions and an annual precipitation of about 25 millimeters of water equivalent, which falls entirely as ice crystals. Researchers noticed and then began looking at these frigid pockets after they noticed cracks in the snow between large snow dunes on the plateau and wondered if super low temperatures might be creating the cracks by causing the snow on the surface to shrink. This led their discovery for the coldest place on the planet. The coldest temperature they found there was on August 10th, 2010. And according to Scrambos, this temperature is essentially the same as if you were to take your hand and put it on the surface of the snow and it's 50 degrees colder than anything that has ever been in Alaska or Siberia. The reasons for the temperature drop in these regions can be credited to numerous combinations of circumstances. Scambos and his colleagues believe that stage is set for these record lows when clear skies above the domes cause the air to get colder as it radiates heat away to space. As the air near the Earth's surface gets colder, it also gets denser, and then it's beginning to slide down the dome until it encounters one of these pockets where it can become stuck. As it sits there, possibly over several days, the air keeps radiating away heat and becomes colder and colder until it reaches the record lows observed by the satellites. Vostok Station as stated above, the previous record for the coldest place on Earth was held by Vostok Station, which is a Russian research station in inland Princess Elizabeth Land, Antarctica. It was founded by the Soviet Union in 1957 and had the recorded temperature of negative 89.2 degrees Celsius or negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It was one of the most isolated established research stations on the Antarctic continent. However, it was a station, so it normally contained about 25 scientists and engineers in the summer and around 13 in the winter. It had become one of the most optimal places to observe changes in the Earth's magnetosphere. A very fascinating fact about this place is that alongside being the coldest place on Earth for a very long time, it is also one of the sunniest places on Earth. Despite not having sunshine at all between May and August, there are more hours of sunshine per year than even the sunniest places in South Africa. Just in the month of December, it received 22.9 hours of sunshine daily, and ironically also had the lowest sunshine for any month with an absolute maximum of zero hours of sunshine per month during polar night. This record was replaced by Dome F and Dome A. Oymyakon, Russia 
The coldest permanently inhabited settlement on Earth, however, is Omayakon. It is a rural locality in Omayakonsky district of Sakha Republic, Russia. Its name quite literally means frozen lake or unfrozen patch of water. And why wouldn't it? The climate here is so harsh that pipes and ground freezes, so even the restrooms are plumbing less outhouses. The ground freezes and very few crops grow, so the local diet is mostly meat and fish, sometimes even eaten frozen. Even car engines get cold so quickly that they must be kept running at all times. And if that wasn't enough, even your eyelashes and saliva will freeze into painful little needles on your face as you walk down the street. Sounds quite difficult, right? Contrary to what you'd assume though, people there are leading quite ordinary lives. The area is equipped with a bank, a post office, schools, and even an airport runway. They host festivals together, such as the Cold Pole Festival, which is celebrated every year after winter ends. It is hosted by Chiscon and the Yukutian Lord of Frost. They enjoy with reindeer races, dog sledding, ice fishing, and other merriment. Oimaya Khan gets winters for seven months a year, which are extremely long and cold, while the summers are mild to warm. The warmest temperature ever experienced there was in July of 2010, when it went as high as 18.7 degrees Celsius. It gets featured in news and television series quite often as the coldest inhabited place in the world and has been shown in TV shows such as Siberia, The Winter's Tale, Extreme World, 60 Minutes, Castle, Departures, etc. A recent development though with the warm spell that hit Omayakon in 2018, evidently the result of climate change. While the temperatures hit 88 degrees below zero, which was close to its 1924 cold record, just two weeks later the region was hit by a comparative warm spell, with the thermometer spiking to a balmy 17 degrees. That is a 105 degree temperature swing for Omayakon in just two weeks. Looks like the residents of Omayakon got a chance to thaw out their eyelashes for just a few days. Snag Yukon It is a village located in Yukon, Canada. It was first inhabited during the Klondike Gold Rush when 100,000 prospectors migrated to the area in search of gold in the late 1800s. The village has the distinction of holding the record for the coldest day in Canadian history, when its temperature dropped to negative 81.4 degrees Fahrenheit in 1947. The location has been reported close since 2006 though, with a current population of zero, and it is regarded as a ghost town of Yukon now. Stanley, Idaho It is a town located in Custer County, Idaho, with a population of only 69 people, as reported by the census that was taken back in 2016. It is at an altitude of 6,253 feet above sea level, and its freezing temperatures are the product of being nestled in a valley that traps cold air from the surrounding mountains. Most days of the year are frosty, even in July, and roughly 60 nights per year, the temperature reaches 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Stanley holds the title for the coldest place in the continental U.S. outside of Alaska, in addition to which it also holds claim to the highest number of coldest days between 1995 and 2005, according to a report by the BBC. Now, unlike other places that we have gone over in this video, Stanley has quite the tourism rate, and despite its very small population, people from all over come to visit the area quite often because it's known for being a recreational paradise in central Idaho, given its close proximity to some of the finest wilderness areas. Prospect Creek, Alaska this is not only the coldest town in Alaska, but also home to the coldest and most extreme weather ever recorded in North American history. Chances are you have never heard of this place before, probably like many other places that I've informed you about today, but permafrost there is thousands of years old and it covers most of the interior and Arctic Alaska. So it just so happens that this rare little hidden gem of a ghost town is located just below the Arctic Circle. While there is immense history hiding here, the greatest claim to fame of Prospect Creek, Alaska is being home to the United States record low temperature of negative 79.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which was recorded on January 23, 1971. The area has a subarctic climate and has consistently been known for having the coldest winters in U.S. history. Would you ever consider living or visiting any places with such extreme weather? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thank you, and see you in the next video.